Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel ADCB Innovations. So today we are going to start with the most awaited tool that is standard tools and we are going to see how we can make schematics, layouts and uh, waveform from that schematic and we can how we can analyze that waveforms using Tanner tools. Okay, so here on my screen you can see uh, the Tanner tools that is this S edit, T spice, Tanner design, S edit viewer, L edit, LVS, all these tools. So these tools we are going to use in creating the layout, so uh, layout schematic and analy analyzing the waveform. So first of all, uh, to create a schematic, we will be using this S edit tool. So we need to open this S edit. And this kind of screen will be available on your system when you open the S edit tool. Okay, so you will see this kind of screen. The above toolbar having options like file, edit, view, etc. And opening or creating a new design. Uh, left side there is an option for library and the uh, cells all right right side we have option for properties uh, and in the bottom we are having the command palette okay so we will see what these are uh, what these options are and what are their uses so first of all from file uh, we need to uh, we can create a new schematic or a new library or a new file okay and uh, we can also open an already existing file so first of all uh, about libraries that any design all the components which you are going to use in a design are saved in some libraries in Tanner. When you install Tanner you will get some libraries from where you can get the designs like PMOS, NMOS, uh, all these components. All right. So uh, these are stored in library. So when you make a design you will create a new library for that design and you will save your every design in that library. So when you create your own library in every library you will create your own cell you will create your own cell for the schematic let's say i want to make an inverter so in my library i will create a cell that is let's say inverter so that i will going to use for inverter now let's say if i want to make a subtractor then i am going to create a new cell in that same library to create a uh, by the name subtractor to create my circuit all right so you can obviously create different libraries for different circuit but uh, you know every time you need to add the components in the library so it is better to do that one time okay so i will just open the design and this is my library in which i have all my all of my designs saved okay so here you can see uh, these are the designs, these are the schematics that are available in different libraries. That is all the schematics, all the cells. You can see in the logic gate here, these buffers are present. Okay, this is one of my design. Yeah. So uh, these are various components which are present in these libraries which we can use in our design. All right. So now uh, let's say we want to run our design. So basically these are the components. Uh, like for example, here you can search the NMOS. You will see the NMOS is there. You can search for PMOS and you can see all the components are there. So uh, now what we are going to do is we are going to create a simple inverter. So first of all, we'll go to cell and we are going to click on new view. All right. So in this, uh, in the library, select your library in which you want to save this cell. So I am going to select this new library, which I have already created. And I'm going to name this cell as inverter. Okay, so our view type will be schematic. So we just need to click OK and now here we have a new view for the symbol, uh, for the schematic. All right. So now for an inverter, we need a PMOS and an NMOS. So what we need to do, okay, first of all, uh, you can hover in this layout by the arrow keys and uh, zoom in and zoom out using plus, plus and minus sign. All right. So uh, now we are going to add a PMOS here first. 
So I am going to use this PMOS and uh, to add the PMOS in the schematic what you need to do is right click on the PMOS and select instance. All right. You can see by selecting instance you will get this uh, instance of the PMOS. So you need to just click once anywhere in the schematic window where you want to place it and then you will uh, see it will give you option to uh, paste another instance. Okay, so to remove this option, uh, you need to press escape because you only need one PMOS. All right, so now one PMOS is there. Similarly, we are going to search here for NMOS. Okay, one more thing that uh, in these libraries, you are going to find these devices. Like for example, NMOS I am finding in this generic 250 NM. In the IO pads, I am going to get different kind of uh, pads or different kind of uh, components available. In the logic gates, I am going to get the logic gates available like that. All right. So here, next thing is uh, you need to search for NMOS. So here is this NMOS 25 and I am going to click on instance. Okay. And I am going to place this NMOS here. Now I will click escape as well. Okay. One more thing to move any component like I just did now, what you need to do is you need to press left alt and M together. Press left alt and M together and then select the component and move it wherever you want like this. All right. So this is the shortcut for move. And now uh, we have seen this libraries palette cell palette. Now on the right, this is the properties palette that is for the properties of the devices or the components which we are using in our schematic. So here you can see uh, this is the NMOS when I select this it will show the properties of this NMOS that is all the configurations, uh, its name, its properties, uh, its input voltage everything. All right. So uh, this was our NMOS uh, and PMOS. Now next thing what uh, what we need to do is we need to connect this gate terminal to this gate terminal. Okay. For that we need a wire. You can get a wire from this option. You can see uh, this notepad type of thing. This is for wire. So just select here and you will see uh, it is from uh, the cursor is in the form of wire now and you can uh, select and create a wire as long as you want. Again, uh, press escape after creating the wire so that the selection uh, becomes normal. Okay. So now we have attached a wire and PMOS and an NMOS to our inverter. Next thing is we need is uh, VDD and ground. All right. So here uh, in the, in this miscellaneous, you can find VDD and ground. All right. So here you need to attach this VDD symbol. You need to right click, can click instance and here is our VDD symbol and now the ground symbol. So again, right click, can instance and there we have our ground instance. Okay. So now our inverter is ready, but there is one thing left that we have not defined the input and the output. All right. So here, uh, from here we can select the ports that is this one is for input, it is for output port. This is for both in and output. So now I am going to select this input and I am going to place this port here that is for the in input. So I am going to name it as A. Okay. Now I am going to select an output port. So I am going to place it here and let's name it as uh, out. Okay. So this is the design. This is how you create a schematic in an inverter. Uh, in schematic of an inverter in the Tanner tools. So I hope uh, the how to create a schematic is clear, how we can drag and drop the components by creating the instance, how we select the ports, everything is clear. Okay. One thing that this is the basic schematic view. Now here is one issue that when we try to simulate it, it will not work. Why? Because we have uh, created this VDD, we have placed this VDD and we have placed this ground, but we have not defined this voltage anywhere. All right. So, uh, there are two to three options to define the voltage. 
वन इज वी कैन प्लेस अ कॉम्पोनेंट दैट इज अ स्पेसिफिक डी सी वोल्टेज सोर्स सो दैट वी कैन स्पेसिफाई दैट दिस वी डी डी वोल्टेज स्पेसिफाइज टू दिस डी सी वोल्टेज सोर्स अदरवाइज वॉट वी कैन डू इज फॉर सिम्युलेटिंग वी कैन क्रिएट अ टी स्पाइस फाइल एंड इन दैट वी कैन डिफाइन द वोल्टेज सोर्स ओके सो दैट विल बी फॉर द फर्दर वीडियोज दिस वीडियो वॉज टू जस्ट टू गिव यू एन इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ टैनर टूल्स एंड हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट अ स्कीमैटिक इन द टैनर टूल्स इन अपकमिंग वीडियोज वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सिम्युलेट द स्कीमैटिक बाय यूजिंग द टी स्पाइस कोड एंड बाय यूजिंग द कॉम्पोनेंट फॉर अ वोल्टेज सोर्स एज वेल वी आर गोइंग टू सी इट बोथ वेज एंड देन वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू एनालाइज द वेब फॉर्म सो जस्ट सेव योर स्कीमैटिक by pressing control s okay and uh, in the upcoming videos we are going to simulate it so this is all for this video see you guys in the next video